I am top Castleberry Realtor Scott Garrison with Remax Town and Country. And we are at 1158 Calle de Norte here in Castleberry, Florida, 32707. That right up there, top unit. This is a video tour of this property at the corner of Calle de Norte and Paso de las Flores to work on my Spanish. So why are we walking away from the unit? So the purpose of this is to give you a little feel for the neighborhood, the area here in Marbella Club. See all the pictures, or see what you can't see by looking at the best pictures online on realtor.com, Zillow, and Trulia. If you're looking for a home here in Castleberry in Marbella Club, this one, or one like it, I want you to call me 407-339-3200. I have been living and working. There's our unit right there. In Castleberry. Selling real estate for 26 years. Living here for much longer. Winter Park High School, University of Central Florida, my whole life. Kind of nice here in the middle. Pretty tranquil. I'm taking the video into the sun. Just part of life. So I want to get a feel for the neighborhood. It's quiet. HOA is $200 a month. You can have up to two pets that weigh 30 pounds each, which is about the most you're going to fit in a one bedroom, one bath unit, which is what this one is. And many of these are. So we're heading up to the front here. Thought I'd add a little video on the front so you can see the entrance. It's a great location here on Semeron or State Road 436 near the intersection of Red Bug at 436 or Howe Branch in 436. Lots of shopping, dining, everything nearby. Altamont Mall, five, 10 minutes away. Uh, 436 is pretty busy. So there's no way around it. Come up to the front here. There is always gonna be traffic. This is the main north-south corridor in Orlando with Colonial or 50 be in the main east-west corridor through the entire, I say, through the entire state of Florida. But nice access right there at Marbella Club. You got a light. You have no trouble getting in or out. And obviously, there's lots of things nearby. So often, people are looking for a condo like this. By the time they find out about it, it's already under contract. How's that work? Well, that's why I need you to call me. And let me set you up a list through my website of exactly what you're looking for. And that way, when a new one comes on the market, you automatically get notified. I'll come out and look at it for you or with you, depending on where you're at. We'll have an offer in before most people even see it come up online on Zillow or Realtor.com. It's an amazing free system. It won't cost nothing. Call me and let me do that for you too. All right, so we're not videoing into the sun anymore. This particular unit's one bedroom, one bath. Most of these are built in 1972. And if you go down that way to the lake, it's a beautiful lake and common area. Type in Marbella Club Common Area. And I bet a video from your favorite realtor me will come right up. All right, there's the entrance. C on the left, right, D on the left. Let's head in. Welcome home. Do a quick run through. Give you a feel for the floor plan. And then we'll go to some detail. And there's the one bedroom and the one bath. All right, we're here in the main living area. Walls have just been painted. 
Not a mark or a scratch on them. They're a light gray. Got new granite there with the pass-through. Ceiling fan looks pretty good. Someone put a new kitchen in. Wanted to make sure they had a really long cabinet to maximize your space. Look at the stove. Stove could be new used. Why would I think that? And it doesn't look like anyone's ever really cooked with it here. It's definitely not new, but it may be new used. This is definitely a little older. You can get one of these for 40 bucks. Why would you do a whole new cabinets and use the same range hood? Who knows? Solid wood cabinets. Pretty nice. It's a nice little upgrade here, which is easy to miss. Matches the cabinets. And then you've got your modest backsplash. I would say it's a little on the older side. Nice sink here. Please get a new faucet if you buy this. That's the cheapest faucet you can get. Get a much nicer one. And the refrigerator. Ice maker. Black. That's why I'm thinking that new use. That looks like, again, older. Doesn't exactly match the appliances, but that's easy to change out. Somebody was living with these cabinets for a little while. One of the issues here is with the uh, electrical panel in many of these. This has definitely been replaced. It's a brand new one. Looks good. So no Federal Pacific panel here. Nice storage closet. Very important in a one bedroom, one bath. Little storage closet. And the AC. Looks like it's been okay taken care of. That should have a, whatever, a cover over it. A little dusty. That's not like been changed that often. We do have the uh, drip pan. The emergency escape valve on the water heater, which a lot of times that is omitted. All right, one bath. Tile's nice, a little older. Nice thing about owning one of these places, you could strip it down to the studs, down to like the wood, and rebuild it. How much could it cost? How much could it cost to redo a bathroom? And you want to change a tile to flooring now? It's 781 square feet. So we have tile here on the second floor. Means it's got an underlay underneath it. No signs of cracks, so it looks good. Nice big room. Again, that gray. Walls are in great shape. Uh, I guess if you're going to tile, it's easy to not want to tile that. I'll get some wood flooring or something for there. A little bit of access. I would not assume there's much storage up there. Um, windows in these units, remember, was built in 72, and it's not unusual for these to be the original windows. They're fine, <clears throat> about $400 a panel, maybe $500 if you wanted to replace them. They don't need it. Um, someone wanted to replace this one. It's some kind of solid plate glass. And I would say definitely just needs a new one. I'm looking for something like that for my house, and I'd say you could probably get one like that for 200 bucks, 150 bucks. So you can see you really just got those two windows and the sliding doors, which are definitely original. They're fine, serviceable. They do kind of sort of roll. Replace all that be 1400 bucks or so. Remember the whole thing, you just do this, make this place beautiful for almost nothing. They tiled all this, did a pretty good job of it. And the washer dryer area. A 
light looks like it might be burned out. But you get the idea, serviceable enough for sure. This one is a little parky lotish for the view. Miss some of the nice lushness that way. With those barrel tile or some version of barrel tile roofs probably last quite a bit of time. So you're looking for this home or one here in Marbello Club or in Castleberry, call me, Top Castleberry Realtor, Scott Garrison, 407-339-3200. That's a pretty detailed video. Thanks.